Hello everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program to Infinity and Beyond. This is going to be our third quest, our third test if you will, to see if we can exit the Earth's atmosphere. We will load into Northern Lion Mark II here, which if you remember, seemed like it had enough raw power to get us like almost out of the, you know, gravitational pull of the man. You know how he likes to do it. Uh, but it wasn't quite enough, I guess. Let's move our ship up here. Like, the solid fuel boosters that we have here were enough to get us basically into, into orbit, but then we came plummeting back down to Earth, unfortunately. So what we are going to do instead is kind of add on some fuel and some power up on this module here. So after I get rid of all this raw power that is going to be responsible for getting us away from the gravitational pull of Earth, we should be able to have, like, an engine or something up here that will propel us towards our destination, which, honestly, I should probably clarify what that is, but... In any case, uh, the first thing I guess we're going to want to do is stack up some fuel tanks. These are pretty heavy. Are there lighter ones? 2.5, 1.5, uh, capacity 500, capacity 250. Okay, I get that. Um, don't really want to use a fuselage. I would rather keep this as light as possible. How much does structural fuselage weigh? 0.4, so not that much. Hmm. So we could like do this and then, okay, we'll put like a structural fuselage on. And then we will add some aerodynamics to that. Like we'll add some wing. Can I add? Yeah, let's add structural wings. No, that's too big. Uh, we could add some winglets maybe. So let's add a winglet here. Great there. And we'll rotate ourselves around here. This is a cool looking machine right now, wouldn't you say? We'll add a winglet here. Does that look reasonably balanced? Pretty solid, I would say. Uh, how much do these weigh? Ah, not very much at all. So let's add a third here. And a fourth here. I want this to be like an arrow flying through space and time itself. There we go. So this is our structural fuselage. That was basically just there so we could attach some more aerodynamics. So hopefully we can, you know, propel ourselves a little bit better. Uh, and then what is wing connector? I don't want that. Instead, we will just start stacking some fuel tanks in here. Let's put one right there. Oh, we can't, unfortunately. What about this one right here? Can we can we stack this fuel tank in here? No. What, what am I missing? Is it because of the winglets? I can get rid of the winglets if you want. That's not an issue. Can I put this in here then? Yes, I can. Okay. So maybe it was the winglets. Oh, that sucks. Okay, what we're going to do instead... I promise I'll do this as quickly as possible. Another structural fuselage. And then instead, we'll take our winglets and apply them like here. Maybe this will even provide me with a little extra support. Who knows? Probably not. And then one more here. And one more. Does that look reasonably balanced? Yeah, decent enough for now. And one here. Great. There. Is that lined up? No. How about that? Top down looks okay. Uh, okay. Now what we will do, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's get rid of these winglets. If possible. Whatever. We'll keep them. Unless I can figure out what the heck. Winglets. Can we just delete this? Click. Oh, I don't want to delete the whole thing. I just want to delete the winglet. That's this one. Whatever. We'll keep it. I'll figure out those controls a little bit later for now. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong with this little layout that we have right here? Uh, and we don't want to attach this just yet. We want to add on some kind of, you know, engine to take advantage of this fuel. So let's go back to propulsion. And we will add on a liquid fuel engine. These are liquid fuel tanks, right? Yeah, sure, why not? And then we should be able to attach this to this. And then we should add one more decoupler here. I think. Go back. Yes. Yes. So that we can get rid of that jet engine when we want to crash back to the Earth. And maybe this will do it. I mean, we're going to be a little bit heavier. We'll definitely save this as Northern Lion Mark III. I'm feeling pretty confident about this rocket's chances. Let's take it to the launch pad. The only thing that could possibly screw me up... Okay, there's two possible complications, actually. One is uh, if this is too heavy to even get off the ground now, in which case we'll basically just explode right away. The other, uh, I guess we could run out of fuel. And the third or fourth, I guess, depending on your perspective, is if we get imbalanced because of these airfoils that we've attached. But anyway... Five, four, three, two, one. We don't have liftoff. We're too heavy and we are going to crash and kill a small population. Disengage, 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 disengage. Oh, God. <laughs> that 
so much for my confidence there. Uh, we'll go back to the vehicle assembly building. And we need to make this a little bit less heavy. So I'm trying to think of what we would want to do to make this less heavy. We could get rid of those fuel tanks. How much does solid fuel boosters weigh? 1.8. So the fuel tanks are heavier than the solid fuel boosters. All right. Well, we'll take one layer of these off. And they're uh, attached decouplers. But I'm skeptical about our chances to even get out of the atmosphere here. But we'll save that as Northern Line Mark III again. And we'll give this a try. For some reason, I'm less confident with this rocket design. Even though, you know, the last one actually literally exploded in our face. But anyway, three, two, one. We have a slight lift up. I'm going to activate SAS right away so that we can hopefully stay relatively constant here. Okay, I, I noticed my problem immediately. So these engines are like flopping around in here. And causing me to change trajectory. SAS, save me! Save! Oh god, not good, not good, not good. Um, no one rocket should have all that power. Okay, we've righted the ship, uh, but I don't think... Uh, we've wasted a lot of fuel traveling side to side as opposed to straight up. I need a flight stick or something if I'm going to play this. Harner Kerman, uh, no, he's got it under control. He seems pretty happy down there. Jonan and Hudton uh, do not necessarily feel the same way. So we are about to run out of fuel again. Go with our, our remaining... Oh god, we, we changed, uh, changed trajectory again. This is going substantially worse than the last one. Unfortunately. Uh, but we, you know, we have gotten, I guess, a certain degree up into the air. Although we're definitely not flying at the kind of trajectory you would want to if you wanted to get as much you know, distance between you and the ground as possible. We're kind of flying like, a, like an airplane right now. Alright, now we've got our jet engine. Oh, no, never mind. I've accidentally decoupled ourselves. Ah, uh, this is bad. Shoot the parachute. All is not lost. Time warp as much as we can. Uh, we are just going to fall back down to Earth. And we are going to survive. I can basically just end the flight right here, I think. I think we know how that's going to work out. And I'm going to make one more tweak and we'll try one more launch. So I'm pretty sure that this design has been an utter failure so far. But I'm going to go to structural and aerodynamic. And I'm going to tie these engines together with struts. If I could actually get them to work. Uh, the reason I'm tying these together with struts is so... That uh, they don't, like, flop around when we're doing our liftoff anymore. So hopefully this will keep them from kind of, like, bending and, and breaking and causing my trajectory to go all funky. And then I might have enough vertical velocity to get me out of the atmosphere. We'll see, though. Okay, I think that should more or less hold them together. Uh, I don't think I need struts once we get down here, because there's not going to be as much, like, bend in these... As much sway, maybe. And we'll save this as our final Northern Lion Mark III design. Take this to the launch pad. I don't see what could possibly go wrong, honestly. Two. One. We have liftoff again. The liftoff seems somewhat sideways. You know, this is probably an example of those airfoils fucking me up. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is not good. This is going even worse. Who would have thought that sway would actually help me? Uh, let's save it, save it, save it. Salvage it, get rid of the engines. Oh god, oh, that cannot be good. For the people that live near here. <laughs> Luckily they ran out of fuel pretty quickly. Alright, well... We are pretty much just uh, a torpedo of death. This will disengage these engines. And disengage these engines. Well... Uh, it, it's been fun while it lasted, right? as we plummet into the sea and inevitably kill our Kerbals here. Ouch, that has got to hurt. Uh, let's, you know, see how they died, if possible. It does not say. We're gonna do one last thing, I'm gonna do one last design. Uh, I would love to get rid of these winglets and see if maybe that fixes things. This will be our final design for Northern Lion Mark III. I have a feeling, though, that this is not gonna succeed, even though I've, I've put my whole heart and soul into it. We don't need any fanfare here. Let's just try launching it immediately. And again, we have the same problem where we get a little bit imbalanced right at the start. But I seem to be able to hold it together a little bit better now. It doesn't look as cool, though, does it? And that's that's a, a principal concern for me. But this is certainly going a lot better. Who would have thought that those airfoils 
those winglets had had such a an influence on the flight of my craft. All right, so we got our second stages of rockets. Oh man, we are not really traveling that quickly, are we? Hmm, I'm gonna need to revise my design a great deal, I think, if we are gonna have any chance of succeeding here. We're just, we're just not accelerating fast enough. I think it's because these fuel tanks are too damned heavy. But... We are, we're not dead yet, and we haven't, you know, turned into a, a missile that would launch and kill our families, so... I mean, there is the benefit there. But I'm pretty sure we are not gonna break our record high that was achieved basically just with brute force. But we're going, you know, we're, we're getting decent acceleration here, we've got enough fuel left. Uh, and then we will just have to basically kick on our jet engines, and I will try not to hit the space bar this time. Instead, I will try to actually uh, use the throttle keys, which are shift and left control. Okay. There we go, I cranked up our throttle here. Uh, but we are <laughs> hurtling back towards the Earth at an alarming speed, coming shortly, I assume. Oh, I still have one airfoil attached! That's a bad idea. Um, yeah, so here comes our inevitable descent. Kind of confused as to why my liquid fuel engine is not firing. Alas, I'm pretty sure that Northern Lion Mark III is going to be considered, you know, one of the failures of the, the aviation industry. Might as well just warp ourselves up as fast as we can now. In fact, why not just turn ourselves into a... Let's turn SAS off. Turn ourselves into a... A torpedo hurtling towards the earth. We've got all this. Now let's use SAS. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Uh, hurtling towards the earth. Use our aerodynamics to our advantage. I would say this was probably the most of failureific design I've ever done. But at least I gave it my damnedest. Clearly we have some work to do. You know, it's possible if I move myself like over here, the crew might actually succeed. In surviving, let's eject the the capsule, and then pop the parachute. Ooh, they might live. They're not gonna land in the water, I think. Oh God, parachute, please, parachute. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that that's uh, definitely one way to go. I think that's how Michael Jackson died. But anyway, that was a uh, pretty much a colossal failure. I think it's clear that Northern Lion Mark III is uh, probably. The worst design I've had so far, so we'll go back to Northern Lion Mark II for the next episode. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time with another ill-fated mission, probably.